Okay, so um, today or, or now we're gonna we're gonna get into our section titled "Influences on the Court." And the question is now: Is the Supreme Court influenced by outside forces? Um, and the answer is supposed to be no, right? This is why these people get lifetime appointments, so that they can rule on issues not based on what's popular, but based on what's right. Um, because they don't ever have to get re-elected. They don't ever have to do anything to, to keep this job. So the idea is that they're gonna put other influences aside and they're largely gonna judge their cases based on their belief system. Um, but um, society, societal values also play a pretty large role. Um, society changes, okay, over time. People's opinions change over time. Take a look at this graph that I pulled up. Um, this is a graph about support for same-sex marriage. Okay. Oh, here comes my daughter. Yes. Play my little telephone. All right. So, anyways, um, same-sex marriage, right? Um, this was a pretty big issue when I was young in, in college and in my first ten years of teaching. Um, this was something that was common to be discussed and debated, and, and, and you know, I know today it's really kind of been. I don't want to say solidified, but um, public opinion has shifted on this one in a big way. Um, take a look. When I was a young kid, there was general, there was no support for same-sex marriage um, for whatever reason. Um, there were, I remember people talking about, oh, civil unions, let's call it something different, but let's find a way to give gay people the same rights if they want to be married. Um, and, um, and that was kind of the way I think most, when I heard, I heard most people talking about it in that way, not, not that I believe in it that way, but I would talk to people and was a younger person and we would debate it out in college classes. And um, that was kind of the thought process. Um, and then in 2010, Joe Biden, <laughs> president elected Joe Biden, who was vice president Joe Biden at that point, did an interview where he said, I actually think that gay people should be able to get married. Um, shortly thereafter, Obama comes out in favor of gay marriage, and um, and we see public opinion shift. You can see it was the interviews were right around here, okay. Biden and, and, and was a leader on this, and then Obama they they really kind of shifted public opinion. Um, and then in 2016, there was a Supreme Court case that allowed gay people to get married, um, and at that point, you could see that there was this this massive shift from a twenty point difference to a twenty point agreement. Today, it's almost thirty points agreed that gay people should have the right to get married. Basically, in terms of because it's it's a matter of rights, um, not whether you you know you think it's great or anything, but should all people have equal rights on society? You know, this is almost a um, at the point people talked about it as a back of the bus issue, like. Um, this is about rights, not what is right. Um, so we can see that public opinion in that one shifted before the courts ruled in favor because society had evolved and the courts evolved with society, apparently. Look at this case. This case has to do with um, interracial marriage. Yeah, you guys, did you know in 1960s it was illegal for black and white people to get married? What? <laughs> what? Foreign land was this, it was our country, in 1967, um, eight years before I was born. And if you look in 1967, support for interracial marriage was at 15%. It was so low, okay? But the Supreme Court went out on a limb on this one, okay? They didn't care about what was considered popular. They, they did what they thought was right. Um, and they said, no, interracial marriage should not be illegal. This is called the Loving Supreme Court case. Um, and now you can see that 87% of people think interracial marriage should be legal. There's a teeny sliver of our society um, that does not. So we have two examples here of the Supreme Court in one case, public opinion changing, and then the Supreme Court maybe evolving with public opinion. And the other case where the Supreme Court made a statement and then society followed the Supreme Court, right? Um, so 
both, in both ways, um, we see that um, the court can be influenced and is influenced by societal values. Um, but in theory, it's not supposed to be influenced um, by public opinion. 